We live in a society made up of systems that sometimes brush aside the critical importance of the individual. Implementing a person-centered culture and approach is an effective way to balance the power of the individual with the power of systems. By putting the individual at the center of the conversation and removing the assumption that we already know what's important to them brings about new awareness and possibility. Person-centered practices are simple tools that work to help people clarify what's important and to help them develop a simple plan they can implement. Every person is unique, and the service system must be able to respond flexibly to each person's situation, strengths, needs, and preferences. In doing so, our aim is to ensure the service system is driven by the very people it supports. Person-centered practices were originally born out of a necessity to listen to people, acknowledge their truth, and assist them to take action. In order to more fully understand another person's experience, a good place to start is to explore the questions as they apply to your own life. In the spirit of empathy, spend some time in your own inquiry by simply asking the questions we've laid out in this video before helping others. It will give you a well-informed perspective of what it feels like to be asked these questions. Focus on the elements you think would be helpful to the person, tailoring your questions and approach to the conversation. We open with seeking to understand your current state. This is the best place to start. Ask open-ended questions and follow up responses by repeating what is being said to fully understand what is being communicated. This will be beneficial for you and the person, as it will stimulate deeper reflection. Seeking to understand someone is more about building trust than finding solutions. The solutions will come from the conversation. A simple opening question could be, how can I help you? The second element is envisioning the future. Picturing your future and what you want it to look like is critical to bring it into reality. Take several moments to thoughtfully consider the big picture. This will make it easier to understand what steps need to be taken to get the result you seek. Here are some questions to consider. What do you envision for your future? Don't limit yourself and think big. What does success look like? Understanding strengths and leveraging your abilities and capacities is element three. Once you have established trust, it's easier to get people to realize what tools they already have to solve their problem. Helping them list and acknowledge those resources can allay fears and give them confidence. You may want to ask, what strengths, abilities, and gifts do you bring to the situation? Element four is exploring challenges and barriers. This step has a way of giving your path greater clarity by helping you do some honest reality testing about what is possible. It also gives you strength by providing insight into what types of actions you can take to overcome challenges. Living your dreams and overcoming challenges equals perseverance and resilience. Consider what we just discussed and ask, what barriers are keeping you from implementing your future? Element five is tending the future. Your life will be difficult to direct if you are not intentionally finding ways to care for yourself along the journey. Acquire a new skill, join an activity or support group, establish daily routines for health and wellness. Your future will not be yours without actively reaching for it. Here are some questions for discussion. How do you define success? What actions, behaviors, or beliefs can you adopt? that will make your future a success. Asking for help is element six. You don't have to do it alone. In fact, you shouldn't. Seek out the support of others through family, friends, or service professionals. People want to help. Be clear about what you are requesting. Keep it simple. Often people are honored when asked to do so. Give them the opportunity to help. You won't regret it. Take an inventory of your relationships and ask, who is on my team and how can they help me to implement my plan? Our seventh and final element is stepping into the future. Taking action on what we want in life is the only way to fully realize that life. But you don't have to do it all at once. 
Take small steps that connect directly with your future. Seek the help of others. Don't give up, even when it becomes difficult. That is part of the reward of making your own life the one you truly want. In preparing to take the first step, ask, if my success was assured, what bold steps would I take? The future is yours for the taking. What are you waiting for?